Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and like usual, I'm just going to open up my uh, intro clip. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pretty much um, read the header files of a dot .wav format file, right? A wave sound, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to read the header files and then hopefully tomorrow I'll post another video up showing you how to handle the data once you've loaded it. Now the reason for do it, showing you guys how to do this video is because um, while I was looking to do it myself there wasn't actually a lot on it. So anyway I'm just going to start off by creating a new, pr a new project. I'm going to call it um, load wave file. Right? Uh, it doesn't really matter what uh, type you're making it. Um, I'm just going to do a console application. I'm going to use the standard headers and whatever, you know, the defaults. So, uh, while that's loading, I'm just going to go through the headers here. So, pretty much um, with the header information, you have no separator characters or anything like that. It's just um, some bytes or you know sequences that you have to remember and for the most part it will always be in this order so the first four bytes will be containing a character or the word riff right so r i f f riff right i got it written down here the next will be the size of the data i think not the file size but the size of the data in um, bytes i think something like that so you got another four, four bytes for the size. The next four will be um, a wave, right? The word wave. And then the next four will be FMT with a space. And then the next four um, bytes will be the chunk size. Um, this is like, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Um, uh, the sort of like the number the integer size or whatever that's going to be used in the wave file um, I believe let me check here one two three four five six, four five okay so the next um, two bytes is the format type and this will tell you our yeah the number will tell you what type of, en of uh, encoding it's using if it's one it means PCM which is pretty much just uncompressed um, the next two bytes will tell you the number of channels and here I got it so uh, if it's a one it means mono two equals stereo and so on right for the most part you won't get three after that you have um, another four bytes that is the sample rate right um, then you have another four, which is sort of a useless number. is the average number of bytes per second. And then uh, you have another two bytes, which is the value for bytes per sample. And then another two bytes, which is the bits per sample, right? Sorry, maybe I, I think I got chunk size and bits per sample mixed up. Anyway, then you have another four bytes which is uh, a string containing the word uh, data in it, right? And uh, then you have another 32 bit, um, or sorry, another four byte um, value that is the size of the data in bytes, I think. So that's your um, header data, right? There's no separator. It's just, uh, you know, all, in, all the different numbers in one little stream. So I'm just going to add this up quickly, 4, right, 4 times 5, 20, plus 4, plus 8, plus 4, plus 8. Uh, that makes about 40. So the first 40 bytes or so of um, the wave file will be the header information. So I'm going to start off by writing the, the include statements. So we're going to obviously put IO stream because it's a console application. And then for the D word, <coughs> which is the 
structure or whatever that we're going to be using for um, the the four bytes numbers or the 32 bit numbers I don't know why I'm using dword you can probably use whatever you want really okay um, so I'm just gonna say um, file file pointer so FP right it's gonna be a pointer and we're going to give this a value of null because it hasn't been assigned yet. Um, then we're just going to go um, fp equals file open, or open, I think. Uh, whatever it is. Uh, just one sec. Sorry about that, I sort of blanked out. I don't normally use uh, C++ to program. It's F open, right? File open, and you put in the file name. Let's call it test.wave, and the mode um, read, I guess. I think R will work. Okay, so I'm um, just going to switch back to the headers here. So right off the bat, we want to check for the riff. So what we're going to do is, um, I don't know, uh, create a char character array um, type, let's call it type, and give it a length of 4. And we're going to go f read um, type, and then uh, size of character. You don't have to use the size of, the, it's, um, you know, it's equivalent to 1. So if you want, you can just put one, but for the sake of, um, you know, being tidy and whatever, I'm just going to use size of, and you want the number or the counts, so four, and then the file pointer, so FP. Right? Um, so what that does, it'll put in the first four bytes into the character or the character array called type. So then we're going to say um, if string compare um, type, and so we're going to compare it with riff. So um, I guess if it's false, I'm pretty sure you check if it's false, it, it means it's um, not riff. So if it's false, um, should, well, I'll just get back to that. <coughs> Um, so if it's false we want to uh, put a message I'm just going to create a quick little function here to make it a lot faster to program so I'm going to call this um, end with error or whatever right message um, int error equals zero right and then we just go return error at the very ends and then we say um, C out so console out and uh, message and line oops got the using statement using namespace std there we go and then uh, just gonna go while sin dot get so console input or in um, doesn't equal 10 so while it doesn't equal 10 it's just gonna loop so i um, just gonna go here and say return um, end with error right and because we have no special error message put in we can just ignore the whole um, error value so we can say um, error um, not riff format or whatever, right? Right. Um, before I continue anymore, I forgot to do this here. We want to make sure that the pointer is declared. Right, and if it's not, we just go return end with error, 
error um, file or failed to open file <clears throat> right so let's go back to the headers here the next one is 32-bit uh, size so I'm just going to put the little note here for um, declarations hope I spelled that right so the next thing we're going to add is a D word size right so we're just going to go F read and then we're going to give the um, the address to the size variable um, size of D word which is four and then the count which is one because we only have uh, one D word and then the file pointer right so uh, a little a bit of this explained here the, um, the size of D word is four which means it's four bytes and the standard byte is eight bits so it's uh, 32 bits here right 32 bit size uh, um, integer or whatever <coughs> So we go um, if, actually um, there's no real need to compare the size, right? Um, you can't really do much checking to see uh, with the file format because there's obviously going to be some sort of data in there, right? So the next part we're just going to go F read, right? And if you look here, the next thing to check for is the word wave. Type size of character for fp right let me say if not string compare type and we're looking for a wave in all capital letters and if it's not end with error go error not wave format or whatever you want to call it right then the next is FMT with a space, right? So um, F read type size of characters for FP, yaddy yaddy. Um, if not, string compare type, right? And it's pretty repetitive, so FMT format, yaddy yaddy. <coughs> Turn end with error. Error not FMT or whatever you want to do. Um, if you want, you can output these in the console, the values of type, to make sure everything's working and there's no bugging out. Um, you know, whatever, make it look a bit more complex or whatever so the next one is the chunk size so we're just gonna I'm gonna create another D word here call it chunk size right so F read type whoops type size of D word there's one of them and it's file pointer right so if not string compare, right, it's pretty, um, sorry, not type, but um, chunk size. Okay, so um, none of these are like strings, so there isn't really much you can do, right? Um, none of these are constants, so um, just uh, I'm just going to go up here. Now for the short, I'm going to be using, um, I mean not the short, uh, for the 32-bit number, I'm just going to be using, using a short. So we have chunk size, um, format type, so short format type, and then short channels. Right, and then we have 32-bit, so D word, um, sample rates and um, average bytes per second average average bytes per second 